Warning, this video contains spoilers for Avengers Infinity War. If you do not want to be spoiled, do not watch this video. You've been warned. Hello everybody, my name is Sledge, and I figure I'd do something I haven't really done before, which is kind of a movie review. And the movie of choice, of course, is Marvel Infinity War. Marvel Infinity War? Uh, Avengers Infinity War. Captain America Infinity War. Spider-Man- uh, Fuck. All jokes aside, it's the Avengers Infinity War. Um, I know. People are gonna say a lot to me, but let me go ahead. I bumped my microphone. Let me go ahead and uh, kind of clear the air a little bit. I was never really a Marvel fan. I preferred DC. Um, I thought Justice League was a great movie, and I'll fucking fight you over that. But uh, I kind of put Pat my uh, I kind of put my uh, dislike towards Marvel aside as I was watching this movie because I got to watch it for free. So I was like, eh, you know what? Why not? Um, of course, I don't know a lot of the story, like, I don't know much about Black Panther, I don't know a lot about the Avengers, because I never cared about their movies, and Captain America's a big old bore to me. But, I figured, hey, why the hell not? Let me give this a try, see what people think. So, overall, I watched the movie, and the movie wasn't bad by any means. It had a lot of story into it, it was really well put together, uh, the acting was phenomenal, and overall, it was pretty sound. However, in my mind, the humor was really forced in a lot of places it shouldn't have been. They tried too hard to be funny, which, you know, being funny is okay, but it's the same problem I had with Justice League, even though I said it's a great movie, they tried to be funny in points where it shouldn't be, and it didn't feel like anything involving Batman, and that's going towards Justice League. But with this, the, so a lot of the humor felt out of place. Um, another thing is, like, the movie felt rushed, and mainly because, you know, this was, like, you know, an 8 to 10 year plan that they were had going on this. And, you know, just all these different superhero movies piling up, piling up, adding stories, so you get attached to these characters. And then it's just... Boom. Gone. Fucking, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. And then they disappear because Thanos snaps his fucking fingers like a sassy bitch and off goes everybody. Another reason I say if it felt rushed is because, and I probably mentioned this before, is the fact that they had so many characters. They had everyone from the Avengers. They had Spider-Man. They had the Guardians of the Galaxy. They had Black Panther. And it's just like, you know, there's, at this point, there's like 15 main characters on the screen, and you're trying to give them each, you know, their own screen time and ways to connect with them through this crisis, and it's kind of hard to do in a two and a half to three, uh, three hour movie. And for me, it's just like, I don't care if you have to draw the movie out longer, I don't care if you draw it out into more parts, because we all know this is going to be a two part thing. Like, they're going to have another part of this, obviously, by the way the movie ended. But I'd have been okay with three movies, even four movies, to cover the story, because there is a lot of story here that kind of just got skimmed over, and a lot of decisions didn't make any sense. Another thing I didn't like, and this is just a story thing, is that whenever they bring in Daybreaker, it's not Thor that's supposed to wield it, it's Beta Ray Bill. And that's another thing where I thought the plot line kind of fell through, but that's just me. Beta Ray Bill wasn't a part of this. Ant-Man wasn't a part of this. There's a lot of, like, there's superheroes that are a part of the Marvel Universe, but weren't a part of this movie. And I kind of feel like a lot of the superheroes kind of got cheated in this movie. Like, Black Panther, he was in one movie. Then <laughs> Spider-Man, he was in a movie and a half uh, with, with this new Spider-Man. Which, I don't like the new Spider-Man, just because I don't think he's written well, just because he constantly kisses Tony Stark's ass. So with all this being said, and all these superheroes disappearing because, you know, Thanos made them not exist anymore, of course they're most likely going to come back in the second movie, but I've also heard that, you know, the deaths are permanent, which to me makes no sense, because how can you just start amping up these superheroes with their own movies and then kill them off? That's something I don't understand, but... Hey, I'm not a movie writer, I'm just someone who watches them. I do have some theories as to what could happen. My main theory is that 
of course, they're probably going to want to have another Spider-Man movie. They're most likely going to have another Black Panther movie and all this other stuff. I'm pretty certain, at least in my own headcanon here, that in the second movie, they're going to do something similar to the Flashpoint Paradox in the DC Universe, where something's going to happen... There's going to be a bunch of explosions. There's probably going to be fucking three Tony Starks standing in one room at some point. That's obviously a joke, but there's probably going to... It's probably going to start an alternate timeline or an alternate universe, so to speak, that could possibly go down, like, more of the Hulk story, because we've had one Hulk movie. Um, I'd like to see another one outside of the Avengers, personally. Like, I'd like to explore Planet Hulk. I'd like to explore uh, the Old Man Logan universe where the Hulk rules the planet with his army of incestuous offspring. Um, I'd like to see the future, like the Spider-Man set in the future, like, you know, what was it? Spider-Man 2099, something like that, where there was fucking aliens and shit. I'd appreciate that. And moreover, it's just going to go over the different stories of each different superhero, probably. At least that's what I would like to see. It, I know it's not certain. And... You know, of course, I haven't seen enough of the Marvel movies to make this kind of judgment, but it's something that, personally, I'd like to see. It's most likely not going to happen, but it's a theory I have. I'd like to see a, a different timeline start. Because we all know Marvel's good at just refreshing their shit. I mean, we've had three different Spider-Mans in the past eight years. Overall, I think that's kind of all I wanted to say. Like I said, I'm not a movie reviewer. I'm not typically someone that you know, can sit down and complain about movies. I enjoy watching movies. If it's bad, it's bad, but I'm not going to bitch about it. So doing this, kind of being a critic, it's kind of foreign to me. If you guys like like me doing it, I can do it some more. I know that this movie's going to get a bunch of people on the fucking Marvel bandwagon bitching at me because I don't like Marvel. But hey, what can you do? We all have our preferences. Uh, so yeah. Leave your comments down below whether you think I should do more movie reviews or leave it to people like, you know, JonTron and all these other people. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you like the video and all that happy bullshit. And, of course, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.